Hi, I'm John Lima, editor of Data Economy, and this is Frontline. I've got here with me Jack Pitch, Vice President of Business Development at SoftLayer and IBM Companies. Jack, thanks a lot for talking to me. Thanks uh, for having me. You operate in the cloud infrastructure business. What's the market looking like in the cloud infrastructure space? Uh, aggressive, right? I mean, I think it's a great time for us. Uh, we, you know, we've, uh, since the acquisition by IBM, we've been able to triple the size of the public cloud footprint, uh, thanks to the, uh, uh, the help of IBM. So, you know, we've grown as an entity and uh, it's the aggressiveness of all the public cloud providers, right? So how did you, by reaching out to IBM customers and partners, how did you actually develop the business further? What sort um, of so you launched? Good question. So what IBM, you know, it, it was a great marriage, right? So with, uh, with the acquisition, IBM got an infrastructure um, that they didn't have to, it's better to go buy rather than build. Uh, but at the same time, now the, the public cloud perception, we got a bunch of Fortune 100 customers, right? We got all the IBM customers. Now the trick has been, how do we onboard those? The expectations are a little bit different. Our customer is, uh, you know, that's the, you know, they're going to log into a portal in the middle of the morning with a cup of coffee and, and, and spin up their servers. The IBM customer wants a little bit more hand-holding, so there has been a couple of years of, of working you know, to, to make that enablement a lot better, um, but the, uh, the, the, the number of customers that IBM is able to bring onto the platform has been astronomical. But then merging into a company like IBM, one of the largest IT companies in the world, must have some challenges. It does, good and so, bad. We have half a million employees, right? What sort of challenges have you come across? Uh, just from finding the, the right people. Yeah. Um, there's just, it's just such a big company, um, and then you know we have a you know a lot of overlap in, in, in some areas, and we're starting to make a lot of cuts and adjustments. To, uh, but uh, really, kind of the early days, trying to you know to, to navigate your your way inside of IBM and trying to find the right people that can help you get something done tomorrow, not next week. Uh, and that's just the challenge really with any company that you have of that size. And what are customers demanding today? Um, a lot of it's you know uh, rapid uh, deployment. Um, and, and I think that the education is really the one piece that we need to do better as, a, as an IBM company, uh, especially coming around cloud, right? People expect cloud to be early adoptive, fast, um, but the key thing that we need to help educate the IBM customer base with is, is planning. And that's really, education's been the age old argument since the beginning of the internet, right? Um, we get a black eye when somebody doesn't do something right, not necessarily inside of IBM, but a, a competitor that wasn't really prepared to handle. Uh, like, take migration, for example. Mm. Uh, if you don't use the right partner to help migrate to the cloud and they, they drop the ball, then that kind of gives a, bla a bad eye, a black eye to everybody involved. Um, but when you start utilizing IBM managed services to help those migrations, if we can help those customers plan better, we can onboard them better. So, but migration also comes down to backup and disaster recovery, so being able to recover everything if things go wrong. Do you see customers making the right backup roadmap? Um, from a DR standpoint, yes, um, and of course we've been, you know, we've been quick to adopt a lot of products to actually help them in that regard as well, right? So, you know, our big product from uh, from the the public cloud side is what we call DirectLink, and that is a private connection, you know, uh, leased line connection back into your 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 hybrid cloud mm -hmm. that's all dedicated and private to you. So as we onboard customers in that regard. We want to make sure that we can build the, you know, the, the right environment for them in the, in the right marketplace. And how are you going to act in the edge computing space? Uh, so define edge, right? So I mean, okay. from an IoT perspective, edge could be right outside your front door. And, and if we kind of go back, edge is not new. We, we tried to deploy, not we as an IBM, but as a technology, we had companies like Front Porch and some of the others that really tried to do that hyper-local marketing decades ago a little too early. Um, our Edge product that we've just released is a, is a colo product. So as companies look to cut costs uh, on their P&L, we've, we've, um, we've developed a product to where they can buy colocation from us. Now it's not inside of our cloud pods, but um, it's across the wall or in gin pop, right? So now all of a sudden the customer can, can spin down their data center. They can move their environment into a, a, an IBM cloud facility. And in essence, what we're going to do is throw a couple of pair of fiber over the wall and let them tie directly in. So now we're able to give a customer sub one millisecond access time back into their hybrid public cloud. Okay, and what can we expect from you in the next couple of months in terms of new products or new markets that you're going to reach into? GPU is hot, right? Okay. I mean, you just take a look at what NVIDIA is doing. We're doing a lot of business with them and in, in, in the GPU marketing aspects of it. I think that's really going to be the next hotbed for us. So you'll be looking to into much more efficient intelligence and the automation of the data Oh, center. and then we haven't even gotten to Watson, right? Which is yeah, true, yeah. Uh, there, the, the great difference. piece. <laughs> um, um, the things that we can do with, with Watson is just, it's spectacular. Mm. 
So how are you using cognitive computing? Are you already using cognitive computing today? Or? So we have customers that buy it. Um, okay. So if you take a look at what IBM's done a great job of, we've, you know, we own really kind of the whole life cycle. We have the public cloud side, which was a lot of the acquisitions. You have GTS, which was the complex managed services. But a lot of people don't know or they forget about, we also own Blue Box, which was all the on-prem. So we own the full life cycle of a data customer. So if you take a look at what we want to try to incorporate is get them into the hybrid computing and start layering on the great assets that IBM has, such as Watch and then the other PaaS you know, and SaaS offerings. Which Harriet Green is driving quite nicely as well mm -hmm. around Watson. Okay, Jack, thanks a lot for talking to me. Um, don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and visit the website on www.data-economy.com. 